Assume that sine x equals this Maclaurin series for all x. We want to use the first two terms of the Maclaurin series for sine two x squared to approximate the integral. So because we're forming a polynomial from the Maclaurin series, we could say we're going to use a Maclaurin polynomial to approximate this integral. But in this example, instead of using this formula here for the Maclaurin series, we'll assume that we know the power series for sine x centered at zero is this power series here. And that way to find the Maclaurin series for sine two x squared, we can substitute two x squared for x in the power series. So we can say that sine two x squared would be equal to, instead of x, we would have two x squared minus, instead of x cubed divided by three factorial, we'd have two x squared cubed divided by three factorial. Now notice here, we have the first two non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series, and therefore, we would use these two terms to approximate this integral. And also notice how this second term is degree six, so if we did use this formula here, notice how this tells us we'd have to find up to the sixth derivative of f of x equals sine two x squared in order to find these first two non-zero terms. Let's go ahead and find one more term. We'd have plus, instead of x to the fifth, we'd have two x squared to the fifth divided by five factorial and so on. Let's go ahead and simplify these terms. So we'd have two x squared minus, here we have two x squared to the third, that would be eight x to the sixth divided by three factorial, which is six. So that simplifies to four thirds x to the sixth. So we have minus four thirds x to the sixth. And the next term, we have plus two x squared to the fifth, that would be 32 x to the tenth divided by five factorial, which is 120. This simplifies to four fifteenths x to the tenth. And of course, for the Maclaurin series, this continues indefinitely. But again, because we're using only the first two terms to approximate this integral, we could say the Maclaurin polynomial, the degree six Maclaurin polynomial is equal to two x to the second minus four thirds x to the sixth. So we'll use this polynomial to approximate this integral. So this depth integral should be approximately equal to the integral from zero to zero point seven six of the Maclaurin polynomial two x squared minus four thirds x to the sixth integrated with respect to x. Let's evaluate this on the next slide. So we'll first find the antiderivative. That would be two times x to the third divided by three minus four thirds times x to the seventh divided by seven. So we'd have two thirds x cubed minus four divided by 21 x to the seventh. So when x is 0 0.76, we'd have two thirds times 0 0.76 to the third minus four over 21 times 0 0.76 to the seventh. And then when x is zero, notice both terms would be zero. So now we'll go to the calculator. So we have two thirds times 0.76 to the third, right arrow, and then minus four divided by 21 times 0.76 to the seventh, right arrow. And I think I did enter this parenthesis here, so go and enter one more here on the right. Of course, we have minus zero, which we can leave off, so enter. So we have approximately 0 0.264755. 
So while this is the exact value of this def integral, it's our approximation for the given integral of sine two x squared. Now before we go, let's compare the graph of these two functions. The blue graph is a graph of y equals sine two x squared, and the red graph is the graph of the Maclaurin polynomial that we use to approximate this integral. Notice both functions are non-negative over the interval from zero to zero point seven six, which I graphed here in purple, and therefore the def integrals are equal to the area under the functions bounded by the x-axis. So we found the area under this red polynomial and above the x-axis over this interval to approximate the area under the blue function on the same interval above the x-axis. And looking at the area of the shaded region, we can tell our approximation is very good. I hope you found this helpful.